Saw. Uh, Hello everyone, I'm S. I'm T. Welcome back. We're gonna be going into this cleanse for this sacrificial, sacrificial cauldron. cauldron. The Black Cauldron. Uh, it looks like a copy of it. Okay, I mean, the real one would be a little more, um... A little more hardcore. I think if the Necromancer of the Lord would have it. Not, you know, random in the cove. Yeah. For anyone who hasn't seen The Black Cauldron, the original movie, it was my favorite movie as a child. I was an odd child. And you'd have an Archlich like that guy, casually raising the dead to kill you. I'll take... I'll take torches. He'd be the one with the Black Cauldron, not, you know... I'll take three fishmen. torches. Thralls of Explode have left for too long. It's two turns, by the way. It's always... They always do gargling, grab, and they always do the explode. Really Most unfortuitous. Uh, at least it makes it predictable. You always know what's coming. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the vampire DLC thing is going to act. Did they gonna add a new hero in for it? I think they said they're going to add one. Like a vampire hunter or some shit. Is that crazy guy with the mace? Because I want him on my team. He looks like the kind of go-getter we need. He might be a crazy guy on the enemy team. But yeah. Basically, he's he's just a pissed off cleric with a warhammer. And that's exactly the kind of my man we need. Pissed off dude with a warhammer. The way is uh, lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow He's got a high trap to song. Slappy does. Comes with, uh... Oh, the map. Map. In level. We fall, John. In the light, though, because darkness down here is pretty dangerous. So... That's like our only stress heal with this party. We'll check again. We, uh, scouting chance and then encourage. Clean guns and prevent ambush. With more scouting chance. And some stress and a bless. So, we got a little st stress heal. But more importantly, with these two, com with their powers combined, we have a almost a 100% scouting chance. If they, well, the two of them use their scouting ability. That contains loot. Now just let me check again. Trinkets that would be 10, 45. Plus a surprise chance. For 65. We'd be surprising a lot of monsters and not, and not getting as surprised oh. ourselves. So we'd have plus 45 to our scout chance and a, uh, that'd be 15. His is like, what, 25? These are actually some rather high level heroes. Grimmith doesn't have any negative quirks right now. Thanks to burning all of those, uh, Scrolls. Scroll burning and all that. Yes. Some rather vile scrolls if actually burning them gets you goodies. Many times I tell you burning books is a bad idea. But when they're evil and have a brown in human skin and yell at you, then you definitely want to burn those. Wow, she just whacked it open. What's that? She has a mace. Mm -hmm. Move charm. Oh. It's not great. Not terrible. Eh. I guess if you have a problem with being moved around a lot, a party that could not can, should not be moved. Yeah, but there's better stuff for it, like the heavy boots. I really like the cove theme. I hope you guys can hear it at least a little bit. But uh, the cove theme is one of my favorite themes. Now, uh, really, we just kind of want to lay on that damage. By the way, um, I don't think we showed off our uh, trinkets. Uh, I think that a lot of them have actually seen these trinkets before. We're not doing it's anything as watching the, if they watch the video. So I haven't seen that scroll before. This is the scroll of healing. The sacred scroll. Oh. Minus ten percent stress. Is that good? It minus the stress and heal and it gives you healing? Yeah. So she doesn't get as much stress from stress attack. But she's not as good at stunning. No, no, she's, she's not. Fast. No, no, she's not. I'd really prefer the Book of Holiness, which is like minus ten AP for like twenty like thirty twenty five percent healing. But if we find it, we'll put it on there. I mean, that's when I was when in the ancestor place, you know, the Yuga trinket thing. That's what I was looking for. So I got really happy when I saw the book of sanity because I thought it was the holy book. It wasn't. Yeah. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. It's a good thing we have good some good healing on the team, though. Yeah, this isn't starting the best. That's actually. Uh. 
gotta wail him now. It's nice, because that's cool looking shield though. I like how he holds it. You mean with one tentacle on the bottom and yeah. on the top? That's actually like barnacle stuff. His hand's like right there. If he has hands, he has tentacles. His hand was right there. You saw it when he was defending. Does he actually have a hand hand? It's like a hand hand. Racist fish people. Are you going to say something? Oh, yeah, they're fish people, very racist. Yeah. I watched enough of HP Lovecraft, I remember. Racist. Well, only about half of them. Probably the half are like, hey, baby. If if New England's if if his New England doesn't go up with all half fish people, if we're like swagger people like hey baby, want to go on a boat ride? Except, except he blinked like sideways, like, but like sideways, and she was like, <gasps> neat party trick, dude, yeah. And things went downhill from there. I mean, not for him, but for everyone else. <laughs> for the Rito, things went downhill from there. All right. So, be prepared for a lot of this. A lot of this. You mean dangerous one-two combo? Yes. Slay him. Oh, this man being a uh, right, right pain. That Cthulhu. He missed your eye. How did you? <laughs> oh, Barf. He hit him in like throat. He has such big eyes, though. It's like anime eyes. How do you avoid hitting eyes? What anime big eyes? eyes you have? <laughs> you. I don't like how we've used all of our shovels up until this point. There'll be no more blood left for the leeches. You keep pulling your leeches. The beast will hide, haha, fight harder. Do we not take the torch? Torches off our pussies. And, you know, people who don't want lots of money like I do. Mostly for people who don't want ridiculous amounts of money. Or if we wanted to, if we were there just for the item and didn't want to take any risks. Yeah. Like if we found the holy book. Yeah. Be like, no! There can be no risks. Because it's worth more than the money. Yeah, oh yeah, it's most definitely worth more than the money. Alright. This is a nice, it's a nice cauldron, but it's not worth more than the money. Yeah. I mean, I want it. Kind of want it like a lot, but... It's not like the best item in the game. It's just like really, really good. Obliterated. With obliteration. Spirits claim you. So she believes in spirits. Um, yeah. Apparently. Alright. I mean, she's not wrong to be believing in spirits. There's plenty of ghosts. Yeah. These things do a lot of damage, though. In the dark? No, just kind of pure. I'm a little worried about keeping up with it. But Can we eat the food? Oh, this is a medium mission. Though. I just like how we don't have as many food stocks as I, th I want. I just like how many people are carrying backpacks. Why didn't they just take that one? They are. They do have packs. They just don't have them like on the character. Where do you, where oh. you think they keep all this stuff? In their pockets. I mean, that's like... That's like a week's worth of... Well, if you ate once a day, that's like for four people, three days worth of food. I think it's supposed to insinuate these guys are down here for a while. Yeah, but usually about a week. Which why it passes week, week. Are those tentacle like Cthulhu uh, statues good or bad? The hands are actually good. Mom. They're just kind of eh. Kind of eh. I think they give you buffs. I think in some details are not actually okay. The cultists are definitely evil, but the fishmen aren't particularly evil. They're just a lot like mercenaries, to be honest. Yeah, working for I think someone who is evil. Very top. Then again, like kind of like the ancestor. He wasn't a good guy. Darius didn't seem like a bad guy, did he? Nope. Did he tried to save his companions. Didn't cut and run when he had the chance because he had plenty of chances. You think Shambles can go after him? He could have cut and run let the other three do his fate, their fates. But nope. Though, uh, these guys are definitely 
more beefy. The fishmen are more beefy than the most enemies we face. They make the pigmen look dumb. Pigmen can be nasty. They can be nasty. But the the pigmen are really top heavy, like the swine tar. Oh, these guys are just start heavy. These guys start. They have a strong start, and they don't get any weaker. But seems. they don't really get any better either. No. But they don't get any weaker. Damn it. Don't dodge. Okay, she's dead next turn. Watch terrible strength. I. He's annoying. <laughs> she's That's dead. Done. So. Octosis. Is pretty mean. Yeah, the problem is they, they stay strong contenders through the entire game, it seems. Whether you can just obliterate them or not. Though, um, the swine are really top heavy. Like, really, really top heavy. I'd move up a little more. I'm gonna have her move back. Right. Dude, the skivers are badass. Um, I've never really seen the top part of the swine, so. Yeah, that's because they're all, like, champion little dungeons. So he needs to do a special barnacle barrier. Because if he doesn't, he's kind of squishy. No, he'll, he'll, he had normally has 50% protection. Um, the mark debuffs it by 15%. Because if he fights people, a lot of people like armor. A lot. Like or lack? Like. Armor. Glancing blows and all that. Well, it's disappointed if nobody really on our human side has uh, protection. It doesn't make much sense to me, to be honest. Since we have, like, dudes who wear, like, plate mail and stuff. But yeah, there'd be some minor differences. Like, the Crusader would have a lot of protection, but not a lot of dodge. Especially the uh, dude with the shield. Old dude with the plate and the shield. We have to fish eye with her. Ah, why not? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Clear that up. Spend a nerve on it. Yeah. You were gonna have him disarm the traps for the stress relief. Our good buddy Grimace. Master Grimace. Since he's a master highwayman. Yes. Every time a car beeps, Chunkins. Bow wows. To the world. Car beeps, someone walks by, someone gets out of the car, and two go into their house across the street. So I think he's just saying hi at that point. Oh, he's wagging his tail. He looks pretty happy. He's a good one. Supplies. All right, do we really need portraits that bad, or kind of? Uh, I think we can sacrifice probably the onyx. Those a thousand. Yeah. Seven hundred fifty thousand. I don't feel like I, I think it's a better idea to get rid of the onyx than the emerald. Fair enough. Because we find another emerald that's a much higher stack. That is true. Scout. So I'm digging this guy. Should we camp here? No. No. Not yet. We can go another battle. Then we probably don't want to risk it further after that. Could have been worse, I suppose. No, there's no other room battle, though. Oh, there is. All right. With the curio. Now, this is... I actually liked this, by the way, because of how much just stuff you find. Look at that. Oh, another emerald, see? I just use the torch and keep it on because it will run out by the time we get there. And uh, we don't need that. It's not All right, yeah, so we move on. What's next? We got a battle. Holy battle. I really hate these stingers. They the were really fast. And they stun, which is the worst. Kill them has moved. Anything that stuns in this game is automatically the worst thing ever. Because it will. Because they usually move fast. You notice that? Bleed, you prick. Yeah. 
Night is the weapon that it's all death. Cuts on his and these guys can do some serious damage. Oh yeah, just piranha men. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna stun him. I just want him out of the way for a bit. They never bite you. Notice that? It'd probably not be nice if they did. So it, I don't think it doesn't seem like they would. They'd probably move very quickly into water with the weaponry, and probably just stab. Yeah, probably. They probably just stab you, but it's never like weaponless for any reason. I would not want to get bitten by them. Yeah. Hopefully, it's one. They're one of the, those things that have like the mouths full of teeth that don't ever think to actually bite you. Well, I'm sure weaponless will bite the shit out of you. Like a person would bite you. Yeah. They probably don't punch very good. Like the the I feel if the humans can be classified unarmed, they'd be crushing damage. And most animals are like, you know, slashing or puncture, right? Humans would be crushing. Because the human body usually, when you punch, delivers internal damage instead of external damage. Which I think is very interesting. <laughs> we cause internal bleeding if we hit hard enough. Or know how to hit, hit correctly. <laughs> Minimum damage, I mean, fuck it. God damn it. These guys are just as dangerous as the fish. Man. That's because they're men. And they're getting crits! Sorry. That was my, they're getting crits, rawr. I do it sometimes. Yeah, we're definitely camping after this room, though. Alright. Did they get rid of the almost dead thing? Or no? Yeah, there's, there's a couple. Our cultist could actually do it with one of his abilities. These guys just have a high crit chance. I think it is. More healing. The flesh needs clue. And that's some damage. Thanks, the mark. God, that's also some damage, though. Wait, good thing they have bandages, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, tits. Uh, die. I was dead. Alright. So, right. Yeah. Slow death. Alright. More healing. And now this prick should be done. Yarg. Dead. Victory. Now we should before we before we we probably should camp. Well, hold on. We'll bandage everyone up first. We can drop the one bandage for the money. And then we can yeah, then we camp here. Circle in the dark. Not enough. It's very unfortunate we were missing a food. A jug for each. She just has a jug. Awesome. Prevent nighttime ambush. And wound care. It'd probably be helpful. Barely a scratch. Get up. The Vestal probably should do it on her, instead of Slappy, instead of uh, the other way around. Other click. Let's click on Slappy. Now it's done. Uh, slappy. Nope. Yeah, I have Grimith. Bandage up. Slappy. <laughs> Sigh. Since that's not enough for a, um, hunger tile. Alright. Rest. Now, now we rest. I'm coping well despite the madness all around. So hungry, why do we not turn back? Reminds me of that town in the wheel, just without all the spiders. More fish people. In radiance, may we find victory. Uh, I might want to actually get him back to position. Yep, yep. Which, honestly, it just seems to. Alright, we carry on. 
carry on my wayward son. We, how many more of those are there? There's one more. All right. And oh, we have one more shovel. Praise be. And we shall carry on without, hopefully, without another hunger tile of luck shall, our luck will allow it. Or at least allow us to find food. If nothing else. If nothing else. Can the fish be grabbed without cleaning it or no? Yeah, it carries a bit of risk though. Risk of uh, finding a jack shit. Oh shit. Don't worry. It doesn't have much HP. I'm not too concerned about it to be too honest. Eldrick and Unholy. Eldritch and Eldritch. You know, it's Unholy, the creature. Yeah, I know. And Eldritch. So grab it. We need to kill it first because it's dangerous. This thing's more dangerous. <laughs> You're memeing at me. Oh, it touched me. Because next turn it will kill, it will end this dungeon if we actually don't, you know. Yes. You don't worry about it, I had a plan. Everyone's fucking drunk. Uh, she might just want to stack on healing right now. I'd rather kill the fish man just as quickly as possible. We can stun him. Okay, now that he best can heal. For ten. Yeah, her accuracy's a bit low. Being drunk and shit. Shit ton of treasure. Um, oh, there's nothing else to get rid of except the keys. Our together. money stacks get higher. But if we found another one, it would be higher than a money stack. Yeah, so don't. Uh, honestly, just leave the money. We're now full of treasure. We don't have anything but treasure. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. I guess this is what he meant. We need to get rid of Thrall. Yeah, yeah, I know. We'll do the same thing with the last. Oh, a pack though, which means it should have some food in it. So we it might. Go, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll have some food in it. <sighs> not great, not terrible. Um, but you fuck. It's bleeding for four. Heal. Oh, so it'll be dead. Hey, well. It'll bleed for four, and then when the turn it would explode, it'll bleed to death. Okay, Mr. Grimoth, just. Yeah, we'll just let him bleed out. Hopefully he won't heal. Stun that thing and kill it. We will be doing that whole killing thing. He's trying to stress away with us. Ooh. So this gonna need some healing. Hopefully we get a crit. That'd be nice. Like that? I, I crit on the healing. Oh. The opposite of that. Collect. Damn, son. Nope, see? Got the emerald. This expedition at least promises success. Do we want to like, get rid of the key, or do we want to... The key should only give us more money. <sighs> yeah. What? Thank you. Let's check the pack. More if only treasure could torch. The flow of Let go. The we we need torture. every deed, but... Wow, we're just made of money right now. Uh, I guess we do that. And, um... That's that. This game makes you feel so... Ugh. Oh, shit. Of all the things, this is our boss battle. Do, 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 do. Think of some good boss music. Like, what's give us a good example of a nice boss track that really encompasses the feeling that you felt when you walked through the door, Sean? A and Darkest Dungeon theme. No, but like from another game. I'm thinking Diablo when he fought the butcher. Yeah. With the hollows and screams of the dead and the damned around 
fresh meat. Imagine that's what that Uka Crusher's thinking. This is the first time we fought one, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Um, mark for death. But he can't collect until someone moves backwards. Yeah, I'll have the vestal move back next turn. Oh, this is this is not good. Do we have a? No, we don't. Oh, that's so good. Such a good resist. Sure, oh, dude, hit him and pull him forward. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yes. The seeds of our own. Oh, that's that's not good. Ah. That's a stun move back. Oh, but she resisted. Hell yeah. Damn it. Why are you so drunk, woman? <laughs> is it wear off in the battle, or is it like for a no, battle? No, it's, it's battles. I'm drunkenly fighting. I'm more like hungoverly fighting. Doesn't that do any massive bleed? Oh, shit. That bleed is so bad. She'll have to heal herself or she'll die. Yep. Shit. Wrong one. Um, okay. Okay. You have a really, really high bleed resist. And this is. Crab. I just had to make sure. He doesn't have. Oh, it, it wore off. It, it wears off. That happens. Shoot, shoot the shit out of him, to be honest, is the plan. Just stab him till he dies, really. It's the best will be her turn, and it will suck. To butch, and then she'll do a full heal, that should be like... Which is 10 to 14. I think. How'd you even do that? Shoot him. Minus healing received. God, he's such a dick. Oh, fuck him. Exercise has no Sapphires. merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be oh, we're, we're going, we'd have to leave. Oh, okay. Do you want to try to touch the statue? Yeah, I mean, she's going to need stress relief anyway, so if it helps her, it helps her. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just a debuff. Just leave. Up, oh, we're on our way back home, Chummer. No shit, Chummer. Okay. Back for a time. Such wealth, look at that. Such wealth and power! Well, yeah, we'll wait. No, we won't. Um, there we go. And sloppy, Slappy's resolve, and so has Gator's resolve, has been. Oh, Grandma has a guilty conscience and a rabies. I guess we're going to be sending more people into the uh, Dungeon of Doom. A rabies gives him more damage. Yeah, he's not good on him, though. Accuracy is required. No, but he has a lot of accuracy. Just get rid of rabies. Oh, well, well, we'll check what his accuracy is looking at. But, but that's it for this episode, everybody. What's this? Ironically, those most vocal concerning the, de the current Dereth of Spirits and Mead are the same patrons whose untrained exuberance the night before exhausted the supply. Bar is locked, gambling hall, and Rothro cost less. Oh, cost less. <clears throat> Alright. We will see you all in the next part. Bye bye! bye, -bye.